on to Liam Madden. I'll just start by saying I, I really respect uh, both Molly and, and Lewis's uh, perspective on this, but um, I'll start with my most practical ideas and then get a little bit more visionary than I think they got. Um, the first out of the gate thing is I would work to pass the Prescription Drug Price Relief Act, which makes it so Americans don't pay twice as much for medications as Canadians. Uh, realistically, though, I think we all know reducing prescription drug costs would only have a modest effect on the old overall picture. So we could, um, how can we get more to the heart of the matter? And Lewis alluded to breaking monopolies. And I see uh, one way to do that is to dramatically incentivize employee ownership and democratically managed enterprises. And in healthcare, that opens the door for med medical professionals like you to feel safe taking the risk to run your own practices and making some room for more choice in this so-called marketplace. Uh, complementing that, what if the government subsidized medical school costs for people who work in these clinics in exchange for treating economically vulnerable populations? And my more holistic response is that when it comes to lowering healthcare costs, the number one thing that lowers costs is prevention. And it's worth a pound of cure, right? Uh, I don't just mean preventative care, which offers little, if any, savings, according to the research I've, I've seen. I mean preventative lifestyles. So this means we should invest in the community infrastructure, the education and the incentives that promote lifestyles that keep us out of hospitals and to keep us moving in our bodies and eating more plants and less industrial processed foods and having more meaningful relationships because I see these as the pillars of health. And if we focus more on health, we will pay less for healthcare whether that's achieved through funding more community dance or sports or community organizations that are already doing this work, I'm confident we can get to the how if we can agree that the what is healthier lifestyles, which require investment, not just in education and healthcare, but also in community. Excellent timing. Um, on to Liam Madden. Yeah, uh, here's to Molly and Anya recognizing this as a, as a workforce issue that needs to be addressed as well as part of the picture. Um, in the big picture, I, I believe that if we measure the wrong things, we do the wrong things, though. And my top priority is to bring into our policy discussion the recognition that we focused almost all of our energy on measuring how many people are insured and at what cost, instead of focusing on measuring actual health and, and the food and lifestyle, educational, edu economic, and environmental conditions, to Shanae's point, uh, the determinants of actually improving health. And even Medicare for All is a policy discussion that exists entirely within the paradigm of how to insure people, not how to improve health. And to be clear, if I was given a choice between the current extractive prof profit model of healthcare and Medicare for All, I would choose Medicare for All. But my top priority is to advance the health of our people and cutting to the chase, the way that I see to do that is to focus on just federally funding, locally controlled, democratically managed healthcare providers instead of focusing on insurance. And Medi Medicare for all for me would just keep in place the exorbitant costs of privatized healthcare. And they might make it slightly better by cutting out some overhead and negotiating some prices, but it will still be a healthcare at the price largely set by, as Lewis alluded to, local monopolies, essentially, um, private healthcare can and should still exist. But I believe that government can and should offer services in this market to keep market prices much closer to the true cost. And this care should be subsidized based on income. Americans pay around more than 10% of their income on healthcare. And in Europe, it's half of that. So that's my goal, my top priority, to be clear, is to federally fund locally controlled healthcare providers and to keep our average costs of healthcare around 5% or less of our income. 